One of the many great things about Hexagon is the ability to work on hard service modeling and to work on organics. And one of those features is what I'm going to be showing you now, which is very, very handy for organics. That's to select this uh, geometry here for the moment and just select a couple of the vertices. Now you notice that when we move these vertices that they're moving just those vertices and nothing else. This means that if you wish to move many vertices you have to go back and keep on selecting them and moving more and then selecting more and moving them again and again just so you can develop a particular shape. However there's a feature within Hexagon which will make this a lot more easier and let me just show you this. It's called Soft Selection. I'm going to select these three vertices here and just look over to the properties tab here and you can see this tick box called soft selection. When we tick this what normally happens is is more vertices will show up in the color red and this means that it's going to influence other vertices on this particular model. So when I start to drag out it will drag out slightly according to the influence of the vertices that are surrounding it. Now we can change the settings of this in here where it says softness. I'm just going to give myself some more space if I can. It's just off there. So you've got this here, you've got this radius and the softness. Now the radius is going to increase the influence radius and which other vertices it's going to select. So if just pull that out, you can see there. And then we just do that again, increase the radius. You can see it's actually starting to manipulate more vertices that are surrounding it. In addition to the radius, we've got what's called the softness. And this is like a fall off type as to how hard it's going to actually fall off between where it's currently selected and where it's selecting on the outside radius. One of the easiest ways to select the radius is by doing this. Hold down the control and the shift key gives you this radius control. And by using this, you can be very specific in what particular area you actually want your radius to be covering. Obviously, it's more handy if you work in a more kind of direct view like the front. But there's one way to be very specific in what you're doing.